of doing product training because Avon has so much product training. I'm just going to be repeating what they're saying. Oh, so now I'm on. Oh, okay. So anyway, so so hey, 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 hey. We'll all do the wave. <laughs> so, um, so if if you're watching live, you know, comment um, where you're call watching from, so we can say hi. And uh, what kind of weather you got? We're out. We're too hot. Now yeah, here we got a heat wave going again. Uh, oh, well, I, I had a, a four-hour hot flash yesterday, so I'm just not happy. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so I wanted to focus on getting customers because we're about six months from Christmas, and if you build your customer base now, you're going to like slay Christmas sales come fourth quarter. So it's really important that we build our customer base now. And that's the biggest thing I hear from team members is they have a hard time getting customers. So we're going to be talking on that one. So first, we're going to start off with our top sellers for campaigns 14 and 15. We have Brenda, myself, Karen Leggett, Maria, Rose, Tony in Alaska, Imelda, Carmen, D, and Rosario. And then for 15, we have Patsy Ir Irvin, Rose Chisholm again, Miss Tony Lynch. Yay, Tony. <laughs> Brenda, Lisa, Jeanette, Karen, Harmony, and myself. So um, I would have to say, get, get in the sales. We have this little cliche called fortune is in the follow-up. And wouldn't you guys all agree that the best way to get sales is to call your customers or text them and say, hey, I'm getting ready to put my order in. Do you want anything? Because yeah. how, how many, how, do the majority of your customers call you and say they want something? Mm -hmm. They're all shaking their head now. So, but when you call them, they say, oh yeah, I want... Right, so you do have to you do have to call them, and we have a pretty well. Amy's new, but the rest of them are all Presidents Club members, so they know what they're talking about. All right, and we're going to slide, and then um, oh, check this out. So these uh, dazzling diamonds, every quarter it, it takes ten thousand dollars to get to Presidents Club. So every quarter, if you sell twenty five hundred in that quarter, you'll make Presidents Club by the end of the year. So for the second quarter, 5,000 was our benchmark. So we had nine, th nine team members, uh, Brenda, Karen, Rose, Sally, Tony in Alaska, Mary, Lisa, D, and Miss Tony Cato. So these nine dazzling diamonds were all over 9,000. And uh, I sent them a cute little dazzling diamond mouse pad. I shipped it from Amazon. 5,000, what did I say? Nine. Well, 9,000 is good. <laughs> But it's funny, my assistant was bagging, was uh, sending out all the mouse pads, and then I saw she shipped it to Tony. And I'm like, why'd she ship it to Tony? Don't you see it's in Pittsburgh? Shoot, cost me five bucks shipping. No, no, it's Prime. I got free shipping, but, you know. But you like getting mail anyways. Yeah. Yeah, why is she sending me something, that crazy girl, right? So uh, at third quarter, closes September 28th, and so the benchmark there will be for 7500 and above, and I'll send out another little surprise gift and then uh, we have Hawaii that we're working for we have all year to make it until December 31st and uh, we got Sally Lisa Rosario Karen and Tony in the in the top five at the close of campaign 15 for tracking and if you're new like Amy's new she, her goal is twelve thousand dollars I'm so jealous because <laughs> my goal is what's my goal like thirty eight thousand yeah, Tony has 28, Helen has 33, you know, so uh, because we sold a lot last year, so our goals this bit year are big. So um, I'm trying to do it through team sales because for me to earn a trip for two for Hawaii for my husband and I, I'd have to do 2200 a campaign. And that, that's not realistic for my life. So, um, but if you have a 12,000 goal and you want to go, I mean, fourth quarter is coming up. It, it's not impossible through fundraisers and parties to do that 12000 by December 31st. And the trip is going to be next year, March 27th to 31st. You get yourself to the airport. Avon pays for your airfare. When you land in the airport, there's a sign saying Avon. So Avon receives you off the plane and takes you to the bus and takes you to the resort. So no one's going to kidnap you. There's not going to be any hank hanky-panky. And they uh, bought out the whole resort, so it's going to be one big massive Avon party, and all the food and all the drinks, alcohol that you can stand is available to you free of charge. 
and free Wi-Fi. So it's it's a lot of fun. So and then you get swag. So uh, Tony Cato came in this morning with this cute silver bag. And I'm like, oh, that's cute. And it's like that was the bag from RepFest last year. So and, and you can see I got some bags here. Helen graciously donated to our cause. So um, we we have some bags that we're going to be giving away. So. But I would like as many dazzling diamonds to, to go to Hawaii as possible because that would just be fun. <laughs> and then we have other incentives. We have the $100 my way if you're in President's Club. And I know it's been kind of like, eh, since we don't get to pick out our own products. But I'm picking the bundle that has the products that I like, and then I'm giving away the rest or selling them. So, you know, it's, it's still an opportunity to make money. And then as soon as you reach, where's my little dot? This one. As soon as you reach $5,000 in sales, Avon's going to send you the rising star pin. And then if you're not in the 100 my way because you're a contender, so like Amy is in the uh, count me in incentive. So once you meet your sales goal, you uh, say if your sales goal is 1,000, once you reach 1,000, Avon's going to send you the $50 and $100 product bundle. So you have to reach your target first. And then they award all the bundles that you earned up to that point. And so that ends in campaign 18. So you may be getting text messages and emails from me saying, you're this far away. So I had my assistant yesterday send out emails. Hopefully she did it right. Um, um, how much you need to do in 17 and 18 to reach your next product bundle. And then um, the $100 Amazon gift card, that's for um, our team target each campaign is 35,000, and so when we hit 35,000, er everyone who ordered, even if you just ordered a pack of brochures, but everyone who ordered goes in a raffle to win the $100 Amazon gift card. And then um, spin to wins. So uh, when we have, uh, we call it order activity rate, when 5%, 10%, 15% of the team orders, Everyone who had orders of $200 or more goes in a spin to win. So if you order early in the campaign, then you're going to be entered in every single spin I do. So we have people that have won two or three times in the same campaign. So there's perks to ordering early. And then um, the fridge. So if you make Premier for the first time, so like Amy, you're new. So when you get to $5,000 in sales, you get the pink beauty skin fridge. It's really, it's really cute. I want one. I don't have room on my basin, but um, Sally Schultz earned one, and uh, she was happy that it comes with an adapter, so she keeps it in her car and she also when she goes on trips and puts her sodas in it. Oh. So it's multifunctional. So, and then when you get to President's Club, now the, um, it's Campaign 21 is a target, so when you uh, get to President's Club or Premier by Campaign 21, you get the fridge. And, I, and I'm doing that because uh, Avon changed the way President's Club operates and um, in order to keep your earnings throughout fourth quarter sales you have to reach your sales goal by campaign 21. If you miss it you fall down to the next level but as soon as you make it you get it back. So we want to make sure you make as much money as you can during Christmas. So we got a little extra bribery going on because I, I like bribing. <laughs> bribing is fun. It's good parenting too. No I'm just kidding. <coughs> so um, Again, uh, the, the rising star pin is for when you reach 5,000 in sales in our year from January 1st to December 31st. And then um, you'll get a raise. So if you're new, you're making 25% commission. But as soon as you get to uh, premier level, you get a raise. You get 30%. And then if you get to President's Club, which is selling $10,000, you get another raise, which is up to 40%. And you'll also get a raise on the fashion and home. So you get 25% instead of 20 so President's Club is where the money is at. That, that's your target. You, you want to make that 40%. And then um, they're doing a, um, a, a charm bracelet now. So e each time you achieve something in sales or leadership, they send you a charm. They're really cute. Yeah. Oh, and, and you know, for those of you who made President's Club last year and you ordered the Mrs. Albie and she was kind of like really ugly, and you're like, ugh. <laughs> I found out what happened. The man who made our previous Mrs. Albies, which were drop dead gorgeous, was 96 years old and he died. And they don't have a replacement artist. 
he did not have an apprentice, I guess. So I guess they'll have to, they're rethinking that. So it wasn't like LG came in and devalued us and gave us a less than Mrs. Albie. They were just like, oh my goodness, what do we do? Our artist is gone. So, you know, he, so he made it, so I don't know his name, but he definitely made a lot of people happy by um, making those pretty Mrs. Albies. So how many, who, how many Albies do you have, Helen? Like, can you count? No. Yeah. Eight of them, yeah. And then you have some, Tony. Both Tonys have Albies, don't you? You guys both earned Albies? Yeah. And Karen, you got some? You made President's Club one year, didn't you? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I had to quit getting Mrs. Albies because I don't have any room. You can't see it off camera, but I have a hutch, and I have about 17 Mrs. Albies, and I got this new hutch for all my awards, and I moved it out of my china cabinet into this, and my husband said, well, that's it. You have to quit selling Avon. You don't have room for any more awards. <laughs> I'm like, well. So, um, so I had to stop. Uh, requesting a Mrs. Albie, I would just get the points instead because I, I kind of thought, you know, what am I going to do when my kids go? You know, they're going to be trying to sell these things on eBay. But, um, but I like them, but I just ran, I ran out of room. And that was another reason why Avon gave you the option to choose points or Mrs. Albie because a lot of representatives were like, I have 50 already. I don't want any more. So, yeah, because, I mean, they're pretty. But, but yeah, they... they they take up space. So the charm bracelets don't take up space. <laughs> At least not that much. Oops. I did a clock mat. Cancel this one. And then I can do that. There we go. Okay. So um, to track your sales, if you go online to avonnow.com and you log in and you click on my dashboard, and I mean click under uh, manage business and my dashboard, so here's where you go first, manage business, and then my dashboard. And then when you're on your dashboard, you'll see this window. So I can see that my next goal is Honor Society, and I'm about $8,000 away, and I need to average $1,500 a campaign to get there. <laughs> so I will not average $1,500 a campaign, but come Christmas time, oh booyah, my sales were like $2,200. And talk about delivery, and I was like, can't you shop online? I don't want to go driving. Ah. <laughs> That's one thing I like about the online is I don't have to go drive as much. You know, my customers will call me, and they um, they send me their check or they Venmo, and then I enter their order for them and let Avon go do it. Because people drive so stupid nowadays. Oh my goodness! Just because you have a cushion, they think they have room to get in front of you. And did they use their turn signal to get in front of you? I told my son I wanted to open my sunroom and get him a paint gun so he could go pop, 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 to all the stupid drivers. So I need to stay off the road. <laughs> I'm not happy. Well, it's California. I guess maybe, you know, if you're in the Midwest, it's not as crazy because there's more room. No, they're everywhere. Oh, New York. I wouldn't even try to drive in New York. That's just, yeah, it's too much, too crowded. So anyway, so that's where you find that. And then, um, let's see. Oh, wait, someone someone sent me a message. Did Ashley Barnes ask a question? She just sent me a no. message, and I accidentally swiped it. Okay. All right. So um, after a couple of slides, we're going to do a, a raffle. <laughs> so um, um, I'm giving away five product bundles. So you'll see that there's some jewelry sets here and some bags. So they're... I'm giving away the three jewelry uh, perfume sets and two bags. But then when I pack it, I'm going to put a bunch of extra little surprises in there for you. I just didn't feel like bringing them all out. So um, the numbers today, I, I forgot them. I think they're, let's just say, they're somewhere between 1 and 30. So when I say it's raffle time, you start typing in the number you think it is. And um, I found out that... When you're on your device, you see your guests first, so you think you guessed first, but they come through at different speeds to my monitor. So the first one that my husband sees that's the correct number is the one who wins. So I, I can't. A lot of times their name will appear first. Right. On their end, but not on your end. 
Yes. I will show uh, the order they came into us on this. Oh, on you can the, put that on, on, the, on the, the screen. Video. Yeah, I put it on. So, um, and you can only win one time because I want to make it fair. I want to give as many chances as possible. So, um, Miss Tony Cato has this fun saying that um, closed mouths don't get fed. And that is the truth. So Zig Ziglar says that the sa same thing, timid salesmen have skinny kids. And I know that sometimes the temptation is to um, get an Avon book and say, oh, hi. You know, those, you'll, some people will say, do you want an Avon book? When you say, do you want, you give them an opportunity to say no. So you're not asking permission to give them book a book. You smile and say, I have for you an Avon book. Right? No, I'm just kidding. So, but once you give them the book, I mean, I'm guilty of this too. So I'm not just, um, you, uh, you, as it, it takes all your courage to approach them and give them a book. And then you don't have anything left to ask for their contact information. <laughs> so, pardon? Oh, the numbers are 1 through 30? So, um, one, you have to get, give them the book, and two, you have to get some form of follow-up. Um, people are most comfortable with text messages, and so what I like to do is like, I'll text you when I'm getting ready to put my order in, because I don't put the due date on the back of the book, and um, I have reasons for that. I'm sure, anyway, I don't, because our prices are always on sale. Our products are pretty much coarse. Like, if you found an eyeliner that was on sale for $4 and now it's $8, well, shoot, I'm going to sell it to you for $4 because I'll make commission on you later when you buy from me again. So I'm not going to quibble over a couple of bucks if it's going to get me the sale. So it's all about customer service. So um, um, how are you communicating with people? So texts right now seems to be the most popular. Uh, people aren't afraid to let you text them. So I'll say, okay, what you know, I'll text you. Oh, did it come through? And so if their phone didn't beep or vibrate, they lied to me. They didn't give me the right number. Oh, I must have miskeyed that. I'm sorry. What was the number? <laughs> text them again. And so, and then be courteous with the text. You know, we don't want to be stalkers. So if I, if I gave, you know, I saw Amy in the grocery store and I gave her an Avon book and she let me text her, I would give her a text about 24 hours later saying, hi, it was a pleasure meeting you. I was wondering if you had any questions about any products that I could answer for you or if you would like some samples, right? And, and then maybe about, and then she'll go, oh, maybe she's not ready. So maybe in about three or four days, I'll text her again. I'm going to be placing my order on Sunday. Would you like me to order anything for you? And she might not say anything. So then like a week later, I'll probably text her again a link to my brochure. So sometimes it takes three tries of communication to get people to respond to you. But I have some customers that um, I have an Excel file for my customers. So um, one Excel file is for the customers who like emails. And then I can copy and paste all their emails and put it in my email and send them a bulk email. Then I have the customers that want text message. So then I have to turn and text them. And then I have another list for the people who want phone calls. Because the people who ha want phone calls, they have a landline, so you can't text them. Or they just never check their email, because email is technically, I guess, old-fashioned now. Tr try writing snail mail that we grew up on. Email is still relevant. <laughs> so uh, find out how your customers like to be communicated with and use that method. Don't try to force them into emails if they, you know they don't check emails. If, if they say, oh, I just like text message. Well, then just text them. Don't call them. Just text them. So, oh, can you guys? <laughs> my boys are playing video games upstairs. All right. So this is the power of gab. Now, if, if you're not a gabber, um, you're an introvert, you're shy, um, you're going to have to do this on social media, but you're going to have to do this even more because there's more competition on uh, social media. So I used to call it armed and dangerous, but now that will probably get me slapped, so I can't say that anymore. So you have to be prepared. So um, one thing I'd like to do, and I posted this link on Amazon before, as I get these bags, and they're self-sealing bags, six by nine. And so um, they're really cheap. So I get one bag, and I put the Avon book in it, 
and it, ha it would have my label on it. And then um, I would put a sample in it, either in the front or the back, and then seal it. And the reason why I like these is it keeps my books nice in my purse. A book won't survive in your purse five minutes. The, the, you know, and it looks really tacky when you're giving someone an Avon book and the corner's bent or it's torn or folded or there's a crease in it, you know. So, um, you know, you want to make a nice presentation unless you have a separate little bag that you keep your books in. But the goal is to give out three books every day. And even if you're running your business online, Even if you're running your business online, you could put a label here with your name, your phone number, and your e-store address and let them know you can call me if you have any questions, but you'll place your order on my e-store because this is like your business card. So even, you know, I, I don't know, if I, if I gave this to Helen, I might assume she likes to order in person, right? But maybe Karen is more tech savvy. She's like, yeah, I'll just go online, right, you know? And so you don't know who you're going to talk to. So this book allows me to introduce Avon both ways, traditional and online. So I think your books are still your best tool, even if you're growing your online business. And then, um, and if you just give out business cards, um, I mean, business cards are cute and they're fun. They're fun to design and create and stuff. But this, so you guys see that's my card. It's got little kissy lips on it. I put a picture of it on Facebook. But if I gave you this business card, are you, does this excite you to go shopping? It's just a business card. You're like, eh. Kind of card, yeah, and you put them in your back pocket, you put them in your purse. By the time you get home, it just goes in a recycle bin. But if I gave you a book, and you're like, oh, those earrings are cute. Oh, you have that eyeshadow? Oh, ooh, uh, you know? This is where your money is at. These are handy, but this is where your money is. You got, this is your store. You're b basically carrying your store with you, and this will excite them to go to your e-store because they can see the products, and now they want to go and go shop. So um, it's all a numbers game. So if um, three people a day, if you talk to three people a day in person, so co-workers, the bank, the grocery store, the dry cleaners, the pharmacy, the eye doctor, oil changer, you know, I mean, shoot, Tony could probably give out 20 books a day in all the places she goes, <laughs> you know? So, and if you get the contact information, then at the end of the week, at five days, you have 15 names and numbers. You do that every month, you're gonna have about 60 phone numbers. Out of that 60 people, about 12 people will order from that 60. But how many of you have 12 customers right now, right? So, that, I mean, that's, that could be a jump for you. So, but if you do that every month, you're going to have 720 leads by the end of the year, and you'll be praying that they go to your e-store because you don't want to. Yeah. But um, the law of averages, out of, 100, out of 720, you'll probably have about 100 committed customers. Out of those 100 customers, they mentally rotate themselves. They don't know they do this, but they do. They, so it's about thirds. Kind of like if you had a party and you invited 100 people, only one third shows up. So if you have 100 customers in your database, maybe 30 will order per campaign. So, and, and, and our products don't change that much. So very rarely do we have customers that order every single campaign. And uh, those who do order a lipstick and they just want our company. <laughs> you know, how, do you have those customers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, you want a large customer base so that they can rotate themselves. And then I had mentioned in previous trainings about making sure you have that $1 order processing fee. And so if you had 30 customers order in a single campaign and each one paid that $1 order processing fee, you've now collected $30 that you keep. That $30 pays for their shipping, your samples, and your books. So now you're running your business with no expense to yourself except for your personal shopping. So, you know, and if you want to buy more, then you just have to sell more so you can buy yourself more stuff. So it's really a, a numbers game, and you have to be consistent. You can't think, oh, I signed up for Avon, and people are just going to knock on my door and, and want to buy $500, or I put my link out once, and now everybody's going to order from me. Uh, no. <laughs> so it, it is work. So this uh, 
form is on our team Facebook page under files. And if you're serious about growing your business and your customer base, I challenge you to print this up and do one every day. You know, five days a week. Go and take books there. So, you know, if next time you're going to the doctor's appointment, plan ahead. Have your books ready. There's a receptionist. How many women work in the office? So maybe you're going to drop off five books with the receptionist and let the receptionist know that if she collects orders for you, you'll give her some free product or a discount. So, I mean, this list would keep you busy. So um, the people are there. I know um, Sally's comment was, you know, I'm putting books everywhere and I'm not getting any response. Well, sometimes it's consistency. Sometimes you need to put a tickler on the book. A tickler is um, a label you would put and you would say free shipping for online order, $60, something to look in. Or there are samples inside, check me out. You know, something, a little, a little personal message in here or check out our newest product, something that is not just a plain book, a personal message from you on the cover. And then um, always, always, always have books ready and prepared to collect their contact information. So how are you going to collect their information? Are you, I'm not tech savvy. I can't just whip out my phone and create a profile for that person. I'd be go, wait a minute, let me, let me see. I got open up my phone. Okay, create new contact. What, what's your name? Okay, <laughs> done. <laughs> you know, now, okay, where's my pad of paper and pen? What's your name? <laughs> you know, so for me, I have to have a pad of paper and a pen. That's the quickest way for me to jot down the information. But if you're, you know, with your phone, then use your phone. So know what works for you and be prepared to use that method to collect their information. I have to share you a horror story. I had a team member. I just about, oh my goodness, Tony. <laughs> If I could have used your billy club. <laughs> we went out purposely to recruit, right, and, and share Avon with people. And this was back in the day when we used to go out in parking lots and talk to people. She knows we're going out to talk to people. That was the whole thing, you know. She's talking to someone. She gets her pen. She has nothing to write on. She pulls up her sleeve and starts writing the customer's information on her arm. I'm like, oh my goodness, what are you doing? No. <laughs> Can you say unprofessional? Oh my goodness. I mean, what's she going to do? 20 names? Wait, wait, hold up. Let me, <laughs> I mean, you know, you know you're going out. Have your uh, method of collecting information ready to go. <sighs> so you don't give me heart attacks and give me more gray hair. Lou, <laughs> she's not on the team anymore. She didn't make it. So I think we should do our first raffle. So um, uh, again, the numbers are 1 through 30. So uh, Matt's going to watch the numbers come through. And um, how should we let the people in the Oh, you want to type it in? On your, oh, you've already done that. Oh, aren't they? So? Oh. <laughs> oh. No, I didn't say the number yet. Oh, really? They start. They jumped the gun, huh? Okay. So while we're doing that, see, it says here, be sure to get a phone number and follow up. I am okay. I've been doing Avon for thirty years. I've made every mistake at least twice. And um, so when I'm when I'm suggesting that you guys do things, is because I've already suffered the pain from screwing up, and I'm trying to rescue you. I have collected phone numbers and got two chicken to call them back. So basically, we call it shooting yourself in the foot. I did all the work, but then I was afraid to reap the benefits. You know, it's like, why am I afraid to call them? They're not good. You know, it's like I had this invisible fear that they were going to spit in my face and slap me and yell, no. That's never happened. The rudest I ever got was, no. Okay, I'm still standing. <laughs> so I know rejection is not fun, it's, you know, but it's just a... But it's easier once you're a mom, right? Because, you know, you get used to it. You're like, I don't care. So uh, don't be afraid of the nose. All right. So do we have numbers yet? Let's see. We got the YMCA, emergency clinics, gas stations, bowling alleys. <laughs> How many of you are in bowling leagues? Are you taking Avon books with you when you go bowling? If you're going bowling for fun, are you discreetly leaving an Avon book at every terminal? Are you giving books to the girl at the counter 
you know, books to the people at the concession stand. And you remember, I have a book for you. I have a book for you. I have a you know, They're not going to say no. So, I mean, they might say, no, thank you. And you're just like, okay, whatever, loser. No, don't say that out loud, but, you know, <laughs> um, that's what we're thinking. Oh, and, like, number 30, dressing rooms. When, um, now that we're back in business, yeah, I would seriously go, like, I would go to Macy's and try on something, but I'd bring my books, and I'd go in every dressing room and put an Avon book on the bench. And then, um, yeah, yeah, I, oh, thank you, Karen. In the bathrooms, in the women's bathrooms, if they have the changing tables for the mm -hmm. babies, I always stick one in there. So when the mom opens it, there's a Yep, <laughs> yep. And then we have um, these bags that have the doorknob holes. These are called clear literature bags. Yes. And they're super cheap. So you put the Avon book in there, and you go through all the bathroom stalls, and you hang them on all the hooks. Yeah. So when the janitor goes to clean, she pushes the door open. She don't see the book, so she's not going to throw it away. Ha, 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 ha. There is a will, there is a way. Closed mouths don't get fed. Okay. Mm -hmm. So all right, so we got, so we got a number. Oh, I should tell you what the number is. You we have the, numbers. OK, so the winning number is 15. 15. Well, we have uh, Monica Smith with 16. Oh. Is that the closest? That is the closest. So yes. ask Mo Monica, do you want the perfume collection or the Kissy Lip Avon bag or this great big humongous Avon bag that fits orders and a laptop and inside it says I love Avon. Isn't that adorable? So I will have to scrunch it up to fit it in a box to send it to you. So comment what you want, the perfume or a bag. And then Matt, you'll, you'll let me know what it is so I don't offer it again. All right, right. So who's wearing it best? I had to steal Natasha's picture. <laughs> so doesn't it look better with curves? Yeah. I mean, this, you know, like the, this looks really tacky, these gaps, you know? It just, it, it does, <laughs> yeah. That's what yeah. So oh, oh, yeah. Helen needs to say that on a microphone. <laughs> As Helen mentioned, the picture makes it look like uh, emphasizes the fact that the young lady isn't endowed, and is it that's an A cup? Is it? Yeah. Well, <laughs> maybe less, but anyway, either way, it, it, it's not complimentary. And yeah. that's what concerned me when I ordered the dress because I too am challenged. So. Um, but it actually fits really well. It's yeah. a really pretty dress on. I almost wore it today, but it was like 90 degrees, and I didn't feel like hmm. being that tied up. So, so anyway, but it's a pretty dress. Yeah. And, and doesn't this leopard, I mean, this is an Avon that's purse or these yeah. shoes, but I mean, that really elevates the dress. I, I mean, this bracelet and necklace and earrings are Avon, but look, even her Avon lipstick matches the dress. So um, Helen's wearing an Avon top. Tony's wearing an Avon dress, and uh, Tony has Avon, that's a Avon Pass. Avon Pass. And um, how many of you are like, oh, that's such a cute top. Oh, it's Avon. That's Avon? It gets us business. And so if you're going to buy yourself something, check out your Avon store first. The qu clothes are very good quality. I was just rearranging my drawers last night and realized I have at least a dozen Avon t-shirts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, I need to quit buying these. I have some. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's kind of hard. Yeah. Yeah. So, but th they're good quality. I Have you guys found that the Avon clothes are good quality? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. They, they wash and dry well. They keep their shape. This is three. Yeah, come show it. Like three years almost. That's yeah. And I mean, I, I wear it in the summertime because I can't yeah. stand clothes. So. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Tony's dress is three years old. A little closer. I turned around. Mm -hmm. Was that a Mark one? It was a Mark when we had yeah. Mark, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, and it still looks just as good. So, um, yeah. yeah. So, even if, yes, Matthew. Monica needs the, um, the, the, the options of more. Uh, it's worth working. 
Oh, so Monica, it was a perfume collection, the Studio 1886, a pink one, or the Kissy Lip. This was the Kiss Goodbye to Breast Cancer tote bag. It's got a zipper top. And then we have this humongous tote that if you filled it, it'd be too heavy to carry. It says, I love Avon, and it, it, it's big enough to put a laptop in. And it's got a divider inside. Yeah, yeah, it's bigger than a laptop. So um, I remember once we had this really cute bohemian dress, and I wore the dress and the beads and uh, the bracelets, and we had boots. I sold that outfit three times while I was doing deliveries. Was that the Casey print one? Yes. And then we had that wrap one. Remember the yeah. Stripes? So, I mean, so I'm not wearing Avon today on purpose, but because um, we have an exercise later. Oh, the lips tote? Okay. Righty, Monica, it is yours. So, um, so even if like, okay, Helen, you come here for a second. So now Helen used to work in an office, and this is our new Avon top. Yes, and pants. And this pants. So like don't you think this is a great office outfit? Yes. And it's 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 Avon. It's ca casual, right. Avon, and comfortable. and comfortable. Thank you, Helen. And so. Um, but so suppose you're not a dressy kind of person. We have leggings and t-shirts and tennies. What you want, we got it, you know? So um, don't be afraid to wear the Avon clothes. It makes you money. And you get 20% off and it gets you customers and grows your sales, as long as you're talking, right? You gotta be talking. So um, if we don't take care of a customer, someone else will. And I have made this mistake because I don't know, you can tell I can't shut up, so why do I hate getting on the phone? I just, I don't know. And so um, I was late. Um, things kept happening in the morning, and I was too chicken to call my customer to tell her I was running late, and by the time I got to her house, she was pissed off, gave me her check, and she never ordered from me again, because I was too chicken to call. So, and if you don't call your customers or follow up, um, did you have any product questions? Would you like to order anything? Did you like the samples I gave you? Um, I've gotten customers before because, oh, my Avon lady, you, <laughs> check this out. This lady, she ordered $100 from me. And then when I gave her the um, order, I put the new book in there and I gave her two books, you know, so she could share with her friends and some samples. And she looked at the book, she goes, did you want it back? And I'm like, no, you can have it. She goes, oh, my Avon lady always wants the Avon book back. She doesn't let me keep it. I'm like, oh my goodness, they're 25 cents. How many do you want here? <laughs> I got 100. What do you want, <laughs> you know? So um, I've had uh, representatives. I, I've, I have a slide that will show you uh, some of the biggest mistakes I've heard. But um, I've, I've gotten some poor, battered customers from Avon ladies that just were always late, didn't have ordered the wrong product, didn't have the bill added up right, was, and I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so glad you found me. <laughs> and that's why um, Avon, if you're in President's Club, Avon will refer customers to you because some Avon representatives would get these. And I, I, I even had team members because I would get an email saying they got customers. I said, oh, I see that Avon sent you a couple of leads. Oh, they did? Oh, I don't check my email. I'm like, ah, you know. And then she goes, oh, yeah, I, got, I didn't call her yet. I'm like, what are you waiting for, you know? And so, um, you know, she didn't call her, so she gave me the number, and I called. She goes, yeah, I waited two weeks. She never called me. I was just thinking that Avon must have gave up. And I'm like, no, no, no. That was that independent representative. <laughs> you know, so we have to take care of our customers. They are watching us, and if we screw up, okay, okay you're raising, yeah? Yeah. If we <laughs> screw up, they're going to tell their friends. Right. Well, I was going to talk about that thing that just happened to you and I last week. Oh, yeah. I got a call from uh, someone who got my number from Avon and she was looking for um, bugs, bug guard because she was going to Texas. And I talked to her and I said, okay, let me go check my stock because she was leaving in two days. I said, let me go check my stock and I'll get back to you and let you know what I have. And she says, okay. And then I called her back pretty, pretty quick and told her what I had. And then she also told me that she had called another Avon rep and I said, and she said her name, 
was Teresa. And I said, Teresa cry. She goes, Oh, I don't know. And I go, well, what about Helen? Did you get, did you call someone, get a name for Helen? And she's like, no. So anyway, long story short, Teresa's posting in Facebook about how she's going to <laughs> deliver this, um, uh, order to an Avon customer who is going to Texas in a few days <laughs> and needs bug spray. And I start texting Teresa and I'm like, Teresa, I'm like, does this, was, was this woman's name? So-and-so. And she's like, yeah. She's like, she's buying, you know, all this stuff for me. And I'm like, well, what the heck? I just called her back, told her what I had, which was less than what Teresa had, by the way. And I was like, oh, this is so annoying. And anyway, long story short, um, I texted her, her total. And I was telling Teresa, I go, oh, she's going to blow me off. She's not going to respond to me because she got all that from you. And she said, okay. And I, she goes, uh, how can I pay you? And she took my stuff too. So it was an interesting way that things turned yeah. out. But I know that I, I had ordered that Skin So Soft bundle. So I, and that's the only thing I ever order inventory of was the bug guard. So I took a picture of each product, sent it to her with the sale price. She goes, oh, I'll take one of each, including the Skin So, my last Skin So Soft oil. Ben mowed me $65. And I said, oh, I'm just going, it was like two towns over. And I said, oh, I'm just going over there today. I have to go to the garden store. I can come by. So like within an hour and a half that she called me, I had the product on her doorstep. And then when Karen called me, I'm like, she didn't tell me she talked to anybody else. Because I would never steal a customer from anybody, you know, but she didn't tell me. And I'm like. Well, I didn't know if it was <laughs> you or not. And yeah. if it was you, I was going to be like, oh, well, that's fine. She's my upline, you know. Yeah. It's, it's okay if, if you get it from her. But she didn't know. And I didn't know that she was even getting anything from Teresa. So, yeah. I mean, I understand the customer, like in her case, she uh, was frazzled, probably waited till the last minute, realized that she needed the bug stuff and wanted a couple of Avon reps names because yeah. of what Teresa was previously mentioning, how someone else didn't get back in time, you yeah. know? So I totally understood that part, but it yeah. was kind of funny because she ended up having a lot of, of stuff well she says she got fevers from mosquito bites so oh, she covered, she's covered yeah so so yep yeah, so we have to take care of them as fast as we can because they will get swooped by somebody so these are different things i have ideas on how to uh, treat our customers well um you can find this type of stuff these skin cell soft things online um since uh, in campaign 17 is a big skin so soft sale, I suggest um, going to uh, Google, you know, right click, copy paste, download this image, cu cut it. You know, if you have pink and shears or cute little crafty scissors, you can make the paper kind of cute. You know, or you could print it on a pale pink or a pale, oh, since skin so soft is kind of a teal, if you have like a very pale, um, so soft teal color. But you'd want to include a list like this with every single Skin So Soft book. And or if you want to build your Skin So Soft sales throughout the year, you can include one of these in your customer orders. And um, since Avon's been letting CVS carry Skin So Soft, it hasn't affected my sales at all. I still have complete strangers going to my e-store and buying six bottles of Skin So Soft oil. It's, it's no threat. And uh, so, so don't let that get you. And then you can order these on Amazon. And this is actually going to be a gift someday for somebody. Um, but it's a customer loyalty card. And Vistaprint has them. But I thought these were kind of cute. They're already made and they're the card stock. So um, I want to find a hole puncher that's like a heart shape or a kissy lip, you know, a crafty, cute hole puncher. And so the customer keeps the card. And you could do a. Um, any kind of a promo with this, like any order over $20, $25 gets you a punch, right? Or, you know, $50 order gets you two punch, or something like that, right? And then when they fill up the card, maybe they earn a free product or a discount, but they keep them coming back to you. And I know that um, I've had a lot of uh, Hispanic team members, and they said that those customers are not loyal to their Avon lady, because the Hispanic Avon ladies tend to carry products with them, and so whoever shows up, that's who they buy from. Wow. There's no loyalty. And so, but if you had a loyalty card, mm, no, my Avon lady's giving me a punch. I'm, I'm not a punch, but, but I, I'm working for my free product, so I'm not buying from you. No, right? And then um, 
these little kissy, these lipsticks down here. Um, I go to Google Images and search lipstick borders, and um, I print up a bunch of blank paper with the lipsticks on the bottoms, and so then when I print up my customer orders, my invoices, then that's on the board. So in just a piece of plain white paper, now I got the lipsticks on the front. And you can even get extra crafty, and once you print the invoice, turn the paper over, put it back in the printer, and then on the back, print the Skin So Soft thing. Or if you have products on hand and you're having a clearance and you're trying to move something, you can put your sale on the back of the invoice. Or if you're trying to generate sales, you could have an incentive on there. You know, for every $20 you spend, you know, you get a raffle ticket or something, right? And then you could put the raffle tickets in the bag. And so um, use, that, use the back of the paper to uh, grow your business. You could even use it, um, uh, if you go into Avon New and the one pagers, say if we have a new product coming out, um, like, uh, you know, this, you know, one of these belief products or um, the uh, Isinox foam cleanser or the vitamin C, you can print up the one pager on the back of their invoice. And so now you're educating them about the product so they'll buy more. And that's important to me because a lot of my customers are doorstep customers. I don't see them. You know, I, I leave the Avon behind the flower pot and the check is under the mat. You know, and so how am I going to communicate with them? I can't show and tell because they're not there. So I use the back of my invoice to do the show and tell. And then this, this representative made a little facial in a bag. Wouldn't that be pretty if you had like a bridal shower or something? You know, some kind of a party or if you had a birthday party. So, um, you know, you can make something like this on Canva or a publisher or something like that. So if you... Um, you can use any of our product line. Like, you know, the, the one I would pick is the a new Ultimate box set. That's $54.99. That's valued at, like, what, $200? That one or the Platinum. And then you put the directions on the, on the bag on how to use it. And you can proof it and make it look cute. So you can do Avon bags. We have um, these bags are called tote bags. And they come in four sizes. They come in a little itty bitty one for like one jar of skin cream. Um, the next size would be um, for like your shower gels and your perfumes. This is your shoes. And then the big one. That would be like when we had purses or come Christmas time. Um, but sometimes if you want to be, uh, well, okay, I'm getting my, so those are tote bags. And these are the literature bags. Now, these are cost effective, but they are ugly. If, if you're on a tight budget and can't afford tote bags and this is what you have, then go to the dollar store and get some tissue paper, put some pink tissue paper in there, and then put the product inside the tissue paper inside the ugly bag to make it cute. And then uh, the, do the Dollar Tree is your friend. You could get some cute pink um, crinkle ribbon and tie the little thing cut, you know, shut, or, you know, squeeze it and tie and curl it and make it cute. So you can use the ugly bags, and I, I have this word, cutify. You can cutify the ugly bag. So um, those are also great for events, like if you're doing fairs, because um, they're easy to hold and they're cheap, especially if people are just doing mascara, eyeliner, um, um, deodorants. But if I was at a fair, I would not spend money on tissue paper at a fair, but every bag's going to get a book, and the book is going to make the bag cute. So that's it. And then, um, and then we have these paper bags. These are called popcorn bags, and uh, these are very cost efficient. Um, they tear easy. They wrinkle, and uh, when I'm feeling um, cheap and don't want to give away my nice tote bags, especially if they just bought a mascara and an eyeliner, I'll use this and I'll put the book in it, but then I have to put them in the Avon box and then use a seatbelt and put it around the box to keep the bags nice because I'm very OCD, huh, Tony? Mm. And it's like, don't give me no tore up bag now because, you know, if you went to Nordstrom, shoot, they come around the counter and give you the bag with tissue paper in it. You know, I mean, come on, we're, we're, we're in competition here, so you got, you got to make it look good. But if, what if it was their birthday or something? Right? You could go to the Dollar Tree 
and just get a really cute bag for them. You know, if you knew they were buying something for themselves, a special treat. Or maybe you knew they were having a hard day, like they shared with you something hard is going on in their life. Go get them a cheap little cute Dollar Tree bag and make them go, oh, this is so pretty. You know, because if they love you forever, they're going to keep shopping. <laughs> so it's not hard to make them happy. And then um, this is some just leftover tissue paper I had. So like on Valentine's Day, I put the kissy lip tissue paper in there. And this is, this is, you know, maybe especially for like the $50 orders, the skincare, they get, they get the special treatment. But tissue paper can make all, all them all cute. And then um, the other bags, the Dollar Tree has these for every holiday. These are just some leftover Halloween ones. But they have spring ones. They have princess ones. They have, sometimes they have ones with lipsticks. Those go really fast. Uh, but these are great to put like a shower gel and a lotion in you know, or, or make bundles when you're at an event. So bags are important. All right, so we should do another raffle. Let's see. So you can tell them it's raffle time. So yeah, 1 through 30. So um, put on the special touches. Um, I used to uh, get my perfume and like bag up all my orders and then spritz all my bags. So when I delivered it, it smelled good. But there be there seems to be such a rise in allergies that I quit doing that. And a lot of offices have a no perfume policy in place, so I can't show up with a scented bag. But I will carry it with me and let them smell it. Because sometimes, you know, you rub it, and it's just not enough. But if you spray it, and it soaks into your skin, and after it dies down, and you can smell the base note, that's what I love this perfume. This is my third bottle. So did I spray the microphone? So, but anyways, I love this perfume. It smells so good. So, did anybody else comment? Okay, another little thing is you could get um, like a pink ink pad. I got this from Hobby Lobby. And uh, you could get, they have kissy lip stamp pads. So if you were going to use the popcorn bags, you could put a cute stamp on the front and make it cute. Or Hobby Lobby, Michaels also has stickers for real cheap. You could put little kissy lips on the bag and make it cute. And if you have little girls at home, like I know a lot of you do, <coughs> Dawn, um, <laughs> they can put stickers on the bag. So now they're mommy's little Avon helper. So instead of trying to get your kid to leave you alone while you do your Avon, now she can join you in Avon. You know, grand, you have a bunch of grandkids. You put them on that chain gang, get them where, look here now, you're bagging up these orders. <laughs> you know, but they could put the stickers on them and make them cute. Do we have numbers in? Are we ready? Or should I talk about one more thing? I think we're ready. Uh, okay, so the number here. was. Let me, these, let me put these guesses. Let me put these guesses on the screen. Okay, so while he's doing that, uh, let's see. Okay. Are you ready? Yes, we are ready. I don't see the numbers. Okay, so the number was 11. 11. We oh. have a 10, and we don't have a 12, and we don't have an 11. Oh, so I made a, I made a rule. And I said, because last time we had a number that was under and over, it has to be the one not going over. Because right. I, I can't be sending so two gifts just because it's on either side. It's the one that didn't go over. Lisa Robinson guessed 10. Oh, Lisa. Yay, Lisa. Mm -hmm. Aloha, Lisa. So what do you want, Lisa? You want the Studio, 18 six, Studio 1886 Perfume Collections, a three-piece set, right? Because I don't want to take the tape off. Yeah. Or I got the Velvet Perfume Collection or that big giant Avon tote. So you let me know what you want. All right, so um, I had talked about um, those 100 My Way um, bundles, and I love the uh, waterproof love mascara. So that's mine. <laughs> I'm, I'm keeping that one. That one's, that, that's staying with me. But the Tattoo Station brow definers, I don't use them. They don't, they don't work for my little itty bitty eyebrows. I, I need the uh, glimmer stick, the, the thinner one. So now I can either sell these at like half price or I could just give them 
to a customer who had a good order of like thirty dollars or something that because now if she gets oh I love that thing you give me you know gave me order me another one money so um the other thing I do is when, when I do give them a free gift, I have some really honest customers. They'll call me up and say, oh, honey, you, you have a product in my bag. I didn't order it. I'm like, is there a happy face sticker on it? Yes, that's your free gift. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so I got these in, in the teacher supplies. So whenever I give them a free gift, I always put a happy face sticker on it so they know it's for them. And then um, because I have a plethora of lip balms. I have about a thousand more I need to find homes for. Um, I've been putting them in these little bags. So I got all five different kinds with my business card. And I've been just giving them away. And so I tell people, I said, oh, you know, my company, they gave me over a thousand free lip balms. So I need to get them out of my house. So from my house to yours, here you go. Right? And they're like, oh, thank you. And I'm like, yeah, a little lip recovery from after wearing a mask. And I've actually had a couple of people go to my e-store. So I, and I told them, I said, I'm not soliciting, I promise, I'm just trying to get them out of my house. There you go. You know, but it's working. So if, if you earn the 135 lip balms, you know, and they're a dollar, they're two dollars on sale for a dollar 39. So if you sold them for a dollar, I mean, if I sold all those lip balms a dollar each, shoot, I could build me a wine gazebo. I'd have over a thousand dollars. But I don't, <laughs> yeah, and they're free, yeah. So. Um, whenever you get free products, you can always maximize those. Did Lisa comment yet? Oh, she wants the perfume? Okay. Yay. Okay. The, yeah. Yeah. And then I always, so these are the free gifts that I like to give my customers. Um, I'm not going to give them jewelry because that's not repeat sales. I'm not going to, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, not, and I'm, I'm not going to give them something that's not going to generate me repeat sales. So uh, the deodorants, they're currently buy one, get one free. So um, you guys all know my, the, my life hack that I love so much. You, you get the deodorant, and if I'm wearing dress or shorts, I put it on the inside of my legs, and my legs don't chafe. So it's like, yay. So, um, so your customers need two. One for their legs and one for their underarms. Um, and then if they get hooked on the shower gels, we don't have the body spray and lotions anymore, do we? Only in the new ones. So, but what I like about these is that they're inexpensive. And my daughter, Serena, when she was little, she liked to do the whole tutti fruity thing. So, you know, I'm not going to let her have Bath and Body Works shower gel at $10 a pop. And then she's like, doing, no, no, so she can have the inexpensive stuff, and then she can use all she wants. So um, so those lead to repeat sales, and so do the hand creams, because if they like the hand cream, now they'll buy the big body um, lotion. And the big, bo the big bottles are out of pumps, and we didn't stop making pumps. The company that made our pumps didn't survive COVID. Oh. You know, with the whole, they, they, they went under. So uh, Avon is trying to find another company to make our pumps for us. So I just ordered a three pack on a or a six pack on Amazon and when my customers buy it, I give it to them for free. Yeah, it works. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll, I'll put the link, yeah. yeah. So um, because customer service is key, if I give them a bottle of lotion and they can't get the lotion out, they're like, mm -hmm. They might not complain to my face, but as soon as I leave, they're going to go, what am I going to do with this lotion? I can't even get it out. Meh, 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 meh. Oh, look, my Avon lady, she gave me a pop. Yay. Right? And then she's going to brag to her friends. Oh, my Avon lady, she, she got me. You know, and that's how I get customer referrals. You got to butter up your customers if you want them to recommend you. So I, a six pack costs me $11, okay. but it keeps my customers happy, yeah. and that's priceless. So, and then the same with the Skin So Soft pumps. So... The Skin So Soft Pumps, I think that's a five ounce bottle. So on Amazon, you just search five ounce spray or spritz spray, or, you know, whatever you want to say. So, and the lip balms and um, the Skin So Soft one, I mean, we have a Skin So Soft sale. So I would mention that to everybody. But why is it grape flavored? That's kind of weird. So, but, you know, they're kids, you know. But, um, 
the lip balms like these down here, these are great for men because there's no scent, especially, you know, think construction workers. So how many of you want to go to a construction site and sell lip balms to construction workers? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I thought about doing that once, but I was too chicken. <laughs> oh, I did the clock again. All right, so those are things I like to give out for free. And again, I always put a, a sticker on them so they know it's their uh, free gift. And then these are other things. I like to uh, give them the lotion. Where's my dot? The um, hand soap when it's on sale, that's a repeat sale. Toothpaste is a repeat sale. They're like, oh, I didn't know Avon had. I'm allergic to Avon. Really? You don't brush your teeth? Yeah, yeah nasty. You need, <laughs> you need to be brushing your teeth. You know? And so I think when people say they're allergic to Avon, that's just a key indicator right there that they have not seen a new Avon book. So let's see, we got toothpaste, right? And so this laundry soap, um, you know how it's, it's a sheet and it's perforated in the middle. So I tear it in half and put each half in a Ziploc bag. And then that's a sample that I give in their order. And then um, the Cucina, you could take out one tablet and I give it to them. Now, uh, we're a family of five and we shop at Costco. So uh, my husband did the math. And cost per ounce, I'm at President's Club, so I get 40% off. Avon cannot touch Costco prices. Sad to say, my family of five has to stick with Costco because it's the amount per pod. It's like a 20 cent difference. It's a huge difference. So, but if I was Helen, and I was you know just me myself and I, or or just me and my husband, you know, then I would probably buy those because they smell good. But not with my kids. Oh no, because they. Just Shoot, sometimes I have to run my dishwasher twice in a day, you know? So it's like, so look, look at your customers. If they're a family of five, then something like that might not be feasible for them. But if they're, you know, single or retired or have a small family, um, that would be it. So um, one thing I do here is, you know, these um, wipes. These are, there's like eight in a pack. So I, I put these in the um, order as a uh, sample. But I put my uh, label on the back. So um, um, my label says, has my name, my phone number, 30 years of experience to serve you, my email, and my e-store. So you guys can't say you've been with Avon for 30 years. But you can say that you're a uh, color expert. You can say you're a skincare expert. You know, so you can say something about yourself, not just an independent representative. You know what I mean? But skincare guru or something. You know, something that sets you apart from other people. G give yourself a title. So that, that's always helpful. Oh, here's my paper. I actually brought one. So see? Isn't that cute? Oh, very cute. Yeah. It has, you have to cutify it. <laughs> Let's see. And then oh, if you're persistent, you will get it. If you're consistent, you will keep it. And so it's kind of like you go into the gym. You start out gung-ho for like the first six weeks of the year, and you're like, yay, and then like you don't go one day. And then you don't go another day. And the next thing you know, you don't have any results. That's because you stopped going. So if you stop passing out books, if you stop calling your customers, if you stop following up, um, I, I had, um, well, you know how life goes, right? So, I, and, and that's the nice thing about Avon, you don't get fired. So. You know, I was in the little man in this stage, right? And then I was like, and then I came back up, and my customers were like, oh, you still do Avon? Because I didn't call them for a month. They thought I quit. And I'm like, no, I'm still here. I was just, like, stressed out. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to, like, doctor fill them to death. But, you know, um, you do have to be persistent in your work. And this is, this is old school. This is online, um, Google Images. But this is what I grew up on, and this is still works for me today. So, um, but I do it on Excel now, you know, because it's, it's, it's just quicker. So you have your uh, customer's name. You can put their phone number, their email, whatever form of communication they want. So you could have a column and then say, you know, um, what, what's the abbreviation for et cetera? It's ECT, right? ETC. ETC. So you could put ETC. You know, email, call, text, and circle the one they want, and then have that information in this column. 
Then, then you have a row. So up here, you would have the campaign numbers, 1 through 26. And then you would write the, the B is if you gave them a brochure, because now you know who to follow up with. And then you write down how much they ordered. So what I would do is like, oh, OK, I have given them a book three campaigns in a row, and they haven't ordered. Oh, because I haven't called them. <coughs> you know, so I call them, oh, yeah, I want nah, nah, nah. So, um, or I'll notice that I've been giving them books, and I've called, you know, but they haven't ordered. And it's like, hey, is everything OK? Cause, and then I can find out that some, something, had, something had happened in the family. And I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. You know, and then I go to the Dollar Tree, and I get a little card, sorry for your loss, or something. And so now they love me because I gave them a card that cost me 50 cents because they're two for a dollar. So, um, and then there was little notes over here. So um, I had a, I knew an Avon representative who um, went and delivered products at 9 o'clock at night. And the lady called me to order from me. She goes, I have re told her repeatedly not to come after 6 p.m. And she refuses to listen to me. Me and my husband were already getting in bed by that time of night. They're a retired couple. So she, this rep refused to listen to her. I got a new customer who was faithful. So, was like, so um, you can make your own list on Excel, but I think this is the best way to keep track. And you can even add a column if they like to order online. You know, but then you could track. And I know that um, on avonnow.com, there's a, a fortune and a follow-up, the customer history. But you have to go look for it. I like, ha I like to have something I can just look at and see it in a whole. And, um, because sometimes you find out that your customer moved and they didn't tell you. Yeah. So if you can see that you're, it's like, I've been mailing you books and you didn't tell me you moved? <laughs> <laughs> That's why you have to call them. <laughs> All right. And so, and this is the online tool. So um, on, on Avon Now, you would go to, it's Manage Business, and under Manage Business is Web Office. And under web office, you would go to customer management. And then under customer management is view customer history. You could do all customers. I changed this to 26. That gives me the whole year. And then I would put a new, or I would type in Skin So Soft. And it's going to tell me everybody who bought Skin So Soft in the last year. So who, get, who gets my first phone call? <laughs> the people who bought Skin So Soft, right? And so. Um, there's other things, like there's a uh, clearance in the background, right, in, in the back. So we have, um, let me see. Let's see. Oh, we got the eyeshadow quads. So maybe, you know, and so the new quads are di different colors. So I might type in eyeshadow. Hey, you remember that eyeshadow quad has been phased out, but I can get you it, right? So you can look in the book, find what's on sale, find the customer who ordered it and call them back and bring it to their attention. Because people are busy, tired, and lazy, and they don't pay attention. You know? So. OK. So we're going to do another raffle. So I'm not going to read this, but we all have returns. And um, let's see. my customer ordered this dog shampoo. And she's like, you know, I, I just. I don't like the smell, right, you know, or something. It's like, okay, well, give it back to me. They can't keep it. Now you can have credit on your next order, or we can exchange it for this one. Yeah. Or, no, I just want my money back. Okay, fine. You know, but technically what we want them to choose is a credit towards their next order or an exchange. But now if she returned this to me and didn't like it, guess what's coming with me when I do my deliveries? Oh, we have a new dog shampoo here. Smell, 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 right? And so now it's a tester. Or I might have a customer who's not picky. And I says, you know, I had a customer who bought this. She used it one time and didn't like it. And it's, I'm going to make up a price. It's $16. Do you want it for $10? She's like, yeah, sure, I'll take it. So I had a customer who, um, she kind of um, irritated me, but her money was green. So um, I, I'd let her keep coming to me. But she was one of those ones, her, her culture likes to haggle. And I am not a haggler. If I don't like the price, I'm just going to walk away. Yeah. yeah, I'm not the one. I, that's just not me. And, um, and so that, yeah, that's just me. But she's a haggler. So she would always come and say, so do you have any perfumes that your customers returned? 
Do you have any makeup that your customers returned? Because she wanted to buy all these returns because she knew she was going to get them at a cheap price. I'm like, you know, but it's like, okay, fine, I'll take the money. <laughs> you know, so um, my favorite thing is to use returns for testers, especially demos when you're doing events. Um, um, if it was a if it was a mascara, I, I would throw that away, right? Anything that they would actually do. Um, if it was a um, tube of lotion, okay, that one I could you know wipe it off with rubbing alcohol. It's pretty not pretty much not contaminated. I can use it as a tester, but it depends on who who you got it from. Like if Helen returned it to me, I'd be like, I know she's good. She's all right. You know, I'll just you. Know. But if some skanky person returns it to me, I'm gonna be like. <laughs> know your people. So um, um, so this is also on our Facebook team page under files. Um, but see, you could probably think of other ways to turn returns into dollars. So don't, so don't, don't throw them away and don't let your customers keep them. Because I had a customer who would always like tell me she didn't want it anymore, but she thought she would keep it. And I'm like, oh, no, no, no. You, you have to give it back to me. And uh, so Avon might tell me to throw it away, but you ain't keeping it for free, because you know some of them they be they be playing games. <laughs> like nope. Did I? Put there we go. Was that the last one? Okay. So these are the things of not to do. Um, placing or placing your order or delivering your order late. You know, like you, you've had somebody email you or text you an order and. It was the 4th of July weekend, and you're like, ah, I'll just do my order next campaign. But that person's waiting for you to place the order. And if you screw up and take three weeks to get her her products, she goes, I'm not going to, hey, Teresa, this customer, this rep's taking too long to get me her products. How fast can you get me? I'll get to you next week. What you want? You know, you can order from my e-store. Four days. What you want? Right? You know? So don't make your customers wait. I mean, I'm not going to order every time somebody calls me, but my customers know I place my order on Sunday. So, and, and if I think I'm going to be busy 4th of July weekend, I can fill my cart later, and then right before I crash Sunday night, push submit. You know, so just, just plan ahead. I'm not communicating about shorts or back orders. Don't, don't show up with the lotion and say, oh, I don't know why you don't have a pump. No, you know we don't have pumps. Get the pump before you show up. Um, the the uh, tie-dye dress that Tony has on is sold out in every single size. Every single size is sold out. It's, it's gone. It's just poof. And so I had a customer order it. And so I'm like, ah, right? So as soon as she sent me the text, I went to... Um, you know, the search box, and I typed it in, and I just do, you know, so I'm like, all the prices are sold out. And I'm like, it's sold out. <laughs> but I had to tell her right now. Because yeah. the longer you wait, they get their hopes up. Yeah. And, and, you know, and, and please, 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 don't you or let your customers make you feel bad because we ran out of stuff. Walmart had these black yoga pants with a high-waisted and a bell bottom. It took me five months of going back. Do they have my size yet? <coughs> Do they have my size yet? Five months. I finally found my size. It's not just Avon. How many times do we go to the store and we don't find our size? Or you go to the grocery store and the one thing you want, all the products are on the right and all the products are on the left, but the one you want is gone. Right? So it's not just Avon. Don't let your customers feel bad. Oh, Avon's always running out of stuff. You know what? Everybody's always running out of stuff. Yeah. It's not just right Avon. Yeah. Yes. Uh, toilet paper. Right. Hello. <laughs> I can't believe they don't have that dress, but I got toilet paper. No. <laughs> yeah. You know, don't let your customers do that to you. It's across the board. It's a worldwide thing. People, stores run out of stuff, plain and simple. Um, not adding up the order correctly. Um, we have calculators on our phone, and um, I have a YouTube video, and there's probably something on Avon University, but you add up all the products with the sale prices. You add in that $1 order processing fee, and uh, if you don't know what that is, get a hold of me later. Calculate the sales tax. This is the biggest problem. I, had a, a, I felt so sorry for her. She was new. She was young. She said, like, I'm losing money. And I'm like, why? What's, what's wrong? She goes, I collected all the money from my customers, and I don't have enough to pay my bill. I'm like, really? everybody paid you in full? Yes. 
okay, so you put, you added it up. So she gave me a, a sample of the order, and I'm like, well, where's the order processing fee and sales tax? What? She didn't charge them. So, you know, some of the sales tax was five bucks times up by four people. That's $20 you just lost, right? So if you don't know how to calculate your sales tax, I'll try to be patient or I'll have, let my husband teach you. He's <laughs> no, but it's, 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 it's just uh, like, say, for, for some phones don't have the percent mark, right? So if I added up the bill and it was $13.99, I add a dollar, it's $14.99. I do $14.99 times 9.25, hit the percent mark, that amount is my tax. Now, if it was some number like 3.6547893211, you just take the first two. So it's like 347. But if the number after seven is eight, then you know you got to round it up to eight. It's 348. So if I just blew your mind on Monday, and, and, and we'll go through that. So um, responded negatively to customer complaints. Um, <laughs> Tony's funny because you can see she's just got the smile on her face, but inside her head she's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> and they're like, um, I can't believe Avon got rid of that. Uh, okay, you know what? I love this geranium um, PMS stuff they had. They discontinued it. Bath and Body Works discontinued cucumber and melon after everybody, every store discontinues something. So. No, it's not just Avon. And I got a replacement. Look, if you don't like that, I got this. You know, it's like, mm. So just smile. Oh, I'm so sorry they discontinued your favorite product. Let's try to find you something else. You have to respond in kindness. Don't let them push your buttons. Because some people just live for button pushing. They, uh, Karen has one of those. <laughs> she, Karen has this customer that went, oh my goodness, where's my new? Oh. <laughs> This customer go, what's the expiration date? I mean, this lady bugged Karen so much about the dates on the bottom that we had to go all the way to corporate to get the answer, and Janine Whitaver had to address it. There no, but the product number, the product number. I just make, I just make updates now, mm. because that product number on the bottom of these, um, well, this one has an expiration date on it. But that other code, before they put the expiration dates on it, I, I started calling, and they couldn't tell me anymore because they get yeah. rid of those codes. Yeah. So, so I just make updates now. Yeah. So in, in, and if, if they're really pushing your buttons, and, and you say, you know, just smile, I'm sorry, I, I don't know the answer to that, let me contact my team lead, and I'll let you know what I find out. Call me, unload, we'll work it out together. And, um, and, and see how we can make lemonade out of lemons. And we might need to add some vodka, but you know. <laughs> um, not following up to get the order. That's the biggest killer in the world. It's not going to do you a bit of good to pass out 100 books and not call anybody. You, mi you might as well just give me the money, and I'll go buy Starbucks. So you have to, or we'll get some Pinot Grigio. So you have to follow up with your people. You have to because closed mouths don't get fed. And then not following up to see how they like the new product. That is a key customer service. And I, ha I, I didn't do it recently, and now I'm too embarrassed to do it, and she hasn't ordered it again. She ordered the new blush. So she ordered it from my e-store. I helped her pick out the right color, because I'm on Facebook. I can see her skin tone, and I'm picking up, you know, so we did all that. And then I know she got it. I should have, like 48 hours after she received the order, hi, Mary, how are you doing? Hey, you got your product okay? What would you think of that new blush? Right? So she's like, oh, she cares about me. If I just let her shop and I don't do anything else, she goes, oh, she just wanted the commission. She doesn't really care about me. So if you know she's ordering a product for the first time, you know, so did your dogs like the shampoo? What was it like? You know? And... I know, it's, you know we get busy and tired and lazy and chicken, but if you want to make money, you got to follow up. Uh, my husband has a um, sound company he orders from called Sweetwater, and uh, he orders sound equipment. And the other day, um, you know, he's working from home and he got a call, and it's all, you know, and it's like, who's calling you? Who's that? Who, you know how wives are, right? You know, and so when he got off the phone, I'm like, who's that? 
you know, because when he hung up, he said, good customer service. I'm like, who's that? Right? And he goes, oh, that was Sweetwater. And so when they send the order, they send some candy in the order, but after they re, uh, he receives it, they always call him every single time to see if he was satisfied with his purchase. So what company does he keep going back to? Them, because he knows they're going to take care of him. So I had a customer who ordered um, this when it first came out. When it first came out, it was $50. And so she ordered it, and I called her back, and, I, and um, what was her name? I can see her house, <laughs> and I can see the video games that her kids were playing. I'm like, you let your kids play that? Oh, <gasps> yeah. But um, so I called her back, up and I said, so how'd you like it? She goes, oh, I didn't like it. I said, oh, why? Why? What, what was wrong? She goes, it didn't. It doesn't work. No. I'm like, oh, um, what, what, what did you want it to do? <laughs> and she said, I wanted it to tighten my bowels. Okay. I'm like, oh, you need the thermofirm lift and secret, right? So I said, let me come back. I said, I'll order you the right product. And, and, and when, I, when I bring you that one, I'll, I'll go ahead and take this one. And they're the same price, so be an even exchange. She got the thermofirm. She loved it. But see, if I hadn't called, she would have been stuck at home with a product she didn't like. She would have been dissatisfied, disgruntled, and she wouldn't have ordered from me again. But since I took care of her, she, she kept ordering from me. Um, not returning, this is, I am so guilty of number seven. I hate checking voicemail. And I'll get in there and I have like 27 messages and I got people that want to sign up to sell Avon. I'm like, ah, why do I do this? And so I try to put a reminder on my calendar to check voicemail every day and I still don't, I suck at voicemail, I really do. Um, just text me. And um, so, but it's really important to get back to them. Because, I mean, Karen responded to her but she didn't get the product to her fast enough, so she called me. I mean, she waited, what, two hours? <laughs> so you got to get back to them as fast as you can. And then don't deliver an order with a tear up ba tore up bag that looks like your dog played with it, you know? Um, and and don't, don't do this either. Let's see. If they got a bag and they ordered this and this and one of these, and this one, and then you, no! <laughs> you get the bag, you take the heaviest one, you put it in there nice and straight, you stand up the low, that one next to it, this one will probably lay down, this is in a box, it'll go in the corner, and then you get the book, and you gotta put that in the back to hold up everything, and then you take your free gifts, and you put that in front of everything, and then the folded up invoice goes there. <laughs> so don't throw, you, you like when you go and get your groceries, and you see, remember the grocery boys would just throw your stuff, and you're like, dude, don't be throwing my food around, right? So it, it's a matter of respect. Respect your customers, and pack the bag neatly, as though you were packing it for your mother. <laughs> so, because this, my, when my kids would try to help me, and they wanted to uh, cut corners and go fast and be lazy, I'm like, you're representing my business. You respect it. This puts food on the table. Don't just go throwing stuff around, you know? You're, like when we would go and pass out books, right? We put books on the doorsteps. You walk up to the door, you put the book on the doorstep, nice and neat, and they would like throw the book, it would land upside down, it would be open, I'd like, go back and fix that. <laughs> That's my business, you put that book right. You know, I take pride in your, in your business and let it show. And when your, your pride reflects, the customers are going, oh, this is a good Avon lady, she's going to take care of me, and then I won't get a call. <laughs> Raffle time? Oh, I did? Oh. All righty. It was number 20. All righty. Um, let's see. Let's show these guesses on the screen here. All right, 20. Uh, let's see. We have, we have 18 and 22 and a 21. Tony Lynch. Tony Lynch. Yay, Tony. What you want, Tony? Oh, good. I don't have to ship it. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> That's the other thing, voicemail and mailings. 
those, those are not my forte. So I am passionate about Avon, and if, I, if you hear a little bit of finger shaking in my tone of voice, it's just because I, I love Avon. It's my business. It's my heart. And uh, next to my family, this is, this is my life. So I like it, and I want you to like it. And in order for you to like it, you've got to make money. And so that I want to make sure you have money. So there is no such thing as a shortcut to the top. It takes good old-fashioned hard work. And I think I've been guilty about saying how fun Avon is without um, saying how much hard work and discipline and tenacity it takes. And it's not hard work like construction work. You know, we're not out in the sun getting blisters and sweating. You know, we're sitting there typing and talking on the phone. So it's not physically demanding work. It's just hard work in that you have to be consistent in doing that. So um, I think that was almost like the last slide. So I just have a couple more show and tells. For my online customers on Amazon, I get a big thing of uh, thank you cards. And at the end of every three months, uh, every quarter, I go back and look at all my online customers. I get their addresses, and I give them a handwritten note you know, dear so-and-so, in a world where you have a thousand choices, thank you for choosing me. And I, and, I, and I put in three samples. And so I send that out every time, and then I put like a cute little kissy lip sticker or something on there. And then um, if they order bath products, I go to the Dollar Tree and I buy bath poofs. And I'll give them one, and I put it in a Ziploc bag and, uh, so it's sanitized, and I give them a bath poof with every bath product that they buy. And when I buy me personal products, you know, like this lotion, when I'm doing deliveries, I give everybody a squirt so they could try it and they can experience it. Um, this one is the pain relief cream. So, of course, they're not going to want to put it on, but they can smell it, yeah. right? I made a mistake of putting this on, and it went under my nails, and I didn't realize it, and I touched my face, <laughs> and my lip went numb. <laughs> That was funny. So, but you know, whatever you have, whatever you buy for yourself, take it with you and show it off. And let your personal purchases make you money. And if you're not using your own products, shame on you. Um, and I mean that in the most loving way. But you know that saying, skinny chef, don't trust a skinny chef? If the Avon products aren't good enough for you, then how, why would I want to buy it from you? So, and, and I forgot, how am I on time? Yeah? Okay. So I forgot I was, I wanted to do an object lesson. So um, let's see, Tony wanted Helen, and so I was going to choose Karen. I, okay, so come on up, Karen. So this is your, ob we're going to wrap up with this, and then, oh, I got two more raffles, right? Yeah, I got two more raffles. So you can start doing some numbers, members one through 30, and then when I'm done with Karen, we'll do a raffle. So if I was, oh, here, let's see. So if I was out and about and I came across Karen, you know that horrible saying, don't judge a book by a cover? But in Avon, you do. Oh, he, my dog doesn't like that Karen's standing up because he, he stopped petting her. I know. So if, if I saw Karen, she's got her hair done. So to me, that means uh, um, properly. She has very little makeup on. So I'm not going to come at her with makeup products, but uh, skincare. She's dressed cute. I'm going to show her our casual clothing. So when I meet Karen, I'm going to say, oh, hi, hi. You know, I'm going to just, I'm not just going to walk up to her and go, <laughs> right? So maybe we're in line, and maybe the person in front of us is being a little testy or something. Just, and that's why I would probably just start up a conversation. Isn't it always a thing that no matter what line you pick, it ends up being the longest? Right? So I'm just making a joke. Something, and she's like, oh, yeah, da, da. So now I made a conversation, right? So, so if I said that to you, so we're in a grocery store line, and, and someone up there is taking so long because they're counting their pennies. And I said, isn't it always a thing that no matter what line you pick, it's the longest one? I know. I try not to get in that line, but I always end up. It, it, it's like a skill. Yeah. yeah it's, like <laughs> <laughs> it's like a hidden skill. <laughs> And then, um, and then I might say something like, yes. I said, well, at least it's air conditioned in here. Yeah, that's yeah. true. And I said, oh, and, and, and I would say, oh, those are cute shorts. Those are the perfect day to wear those shorts. Oh, thanks. Yeah. And I, I, said, so I, I found out that like when I wear shorts, I always get like chafed. 
you know? And then and I said, oh, and I, I do Avon. I found out that if I use my roll-on deodorant, I could put it on my legs, and then my legs don't shake while I'm walking. Oh, my gosh. I never thought about yeah. that before. Yeah. And see, and I, sh I just said, oh, I do Avon. And then I just kept on talking. Right? And I said, yeah. Then I, yeah and I said, yeah. And I, says, um, I said, have you seen an Avon book lately? No, I don't now, think I have. I said, so of course, now I have one. And I said, yeah. I said, the, the, our Avons, I mean, our deodorants, look, they're only like $1.39. So, like, really? you could buy one here and one for there. You could buy one for here. <laughs> right? You know, yeah. and so I would just talk. And I said, well, I have an extra book. You can have this. Oh, wow. Thanks. You know? And so then, cool. I, then I'm going to leave that for a second. And I'm going to say, oh, I am not looking forward to go back and out in this heat. I says, you know, my mom sees that she has wine or something in her cart. You know, I says, oh, that looks good. So I'm going to make it a conversation again. Yeah. Right? So I planted the Avon seed. Now I'm having another little chit chat. And as we start to move now, I'm like, oh, can, I said, if you want, I can text you when I'm getting ready to place my order to see if you have any questions. Oh, all right. That sounds great. Yeah. And, so, or, and then sometimes they'll say, no, that's okay. And I'm like, oh, well, that's all right. And I says, Becky, this is my email and my cell phone number. So if you have any questions, you could just text me. Oh, okay. I'll, I can do that too. Okay. Because cool. I asked her and she said no. Right? Can I have your number? And she said, no. Don't you hate it when people challenge your no? I don't like people challenging my It took me enough guts to say no, and now you're challenging my no? <laughs> right? So I'm not going to push it. And I know that some in the past, the Avon managers would say, no, you keep going, overcome those objections. No. I planted the seed. If she wants Avon, she will call me. That's why when I go to the next door and I run across Amy, I'm going to have another conversation. Eventually, I'll talk to enough people. Someone's going to call me back. But she's going to go, oh, yeah, I met this really nice Avon lady. She wasn't pushy at all, you know? Because don't you hate pushy salespeople? Mm. So thank you, Karen. You're welcome. So, so, you, so you, you kind of you know, see, <laughs> see where they're at, strike up a conversation, slip Avon in, have a conversation, and then try to get the follow-up. So, um, so now we're going, we're doing a raffle, right? Raffle time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, so Tony and Helen are going to do their example of it. Oh. Okay. Yeah, because you're you're going to try to, uh, for lack of a better word, solicit Helen. <laughs> so, like, where do you want to be with? We had that list of places. Are you guys at the car? Oh, you both have dogs. You're at the vet, or are you at a car place? Where would you be? We're at the vet. We're at the vet. Oh, here. Let's do the and a microphone. Oh, and a microphone. Okay. So you you got the book. You can just hold that. You can pretend it's a bottle of wine or something that you're buying. Yeah. Press the button. Okay. Hi and there. What kind of dog do you have? A Doberman. A Doberman? <laughs> oh, you, you can see this shepherd. They look like they're having a good time. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> what, you in here for your, to get shots or something? Yeah, or? just, you know, they check up and whatever shots he's due for. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I know you sure look pretty. Well, thank oh, you. From head to toe, you have everything all coordinated and, oh, boy. Thank you. I love your hair color. Thank you. You go to the beauty shop to get it done no. or you do it yourself? I do it myself. Oh, perfect. You know, I do Avon. We just started selling uh, hair color and stuff. Really? And, and uh, we have a whole line coming out with different kind. And we have clothes. I see you dressed. And we have some everything, okay? Really? Um, I have what I have on is an Avon piece. You never know it, though, would you? No. No? I well, thought Avon okay. just did lipstick. No, 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 no. <laughs> We're not your grandma's Avon no more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have a book if you want to look at it when you get a chance to oh, thank get you. a chance. And if you see anything you like or whatever, then my contact information is on the back. But I know, actually, you stick it in your bag. All that's there and we don't have to do because I see with the dogs. He's probably yeah. calling you now. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Okay. No. That's see? That's my, my <laughs> 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 So, see, so uh, the biggest thing is to be natural, you know, and if you're um, like me, I always get nervous. So you don't, they don't have to see you. I learned this in public speaking. They don't have to see you take a deep breath so you can. So you take that deep breath and you're, when you're exhaling, that's when you're speaking. So um, you do want to be standing up straight with your torso lifted. You don't want to be, you know, body language, right? You don't want to be. 
do you want you want you want an Avon book? <laughs> you know, he's like, I have for you an Avon book. You know, so put the shoulders back, smile, take a deep breath, because when you know people mimic. So when you smile, they smile. And if they're not smiling, then they're grumpy, and they either need you or you need to leave them alone. So, all right, do we have another number? Oh yeah. Yes. Yes, we have numbers. Okay, so this one's uh, number eight. Eight. Well, we have oh three people guessed three, and didn't re guess. Three people guessed three. We have a ten. We have a ten. Yes, M. Nielsen. I don't know. M. Nielsen is that Mary? I think it's Mary Nielsen. All right. Mary. Yeah. All right. So so Mary, you have to let me know if you want the. Uh, Velvet perfume set or the studio 1886 and um, We're going to be doing some other I have you see I have bags, so um, we have um, we need to grow our team and uh, um, Yeah, we just need to grow our team and so when you're when you do sales you make commission from your sales uh, but then when you build a team, you get paychecks from Avon based on how well your team does. And so I, and I'm always here to help you. You don't have to know how to do anything. You just need to know how to tell them to go to your e-store and sign them up so they sign up under you. And then I'll come alongside you and we'll take the journey together. And then you, after a while, you're like, oh, I got this. I don't need, thank you. I don't need your help anymore. Leave me alone. Yeah, but um, um, you don't have to know how to do leadership to start. You just need to know how to tell people to go to your e-store and sign up. So we used to have dazzling diamonds in all 50 states, but we uh, lost some. So um, if, if you get a recruit, no matter where they are, I'll give you something. But if you get one of our missing states, you get to pick one of the, the bags. So this bag is super nice. Thank you, Helen. <laughs> so it's a big pink bag inside, and it's got the Avon uh, makeup on it. And then it has the uh, toiletry bag or the cosmetic bag and the hanging toiletry bag. So I'll, I'll put a list up again of the missing states we have. But we have that one. We have the uh, a vintage Rep Fest bag. We have this one that's by, I forget his name, a very famous artist. Do you guys remember the name of this famous guy? Who made this? So, but. Yeah, it's a breast cancer bag. So he's a very famous guy who made that one. And then I have the love breast cancer key ring that goes with it. And then this was another breast cancer bag. And you could fit a kid in here. This thing's huge. So, um, so those are bags. So, and if you're not interested in bags, then you can tell me and I'll send you a new product. So um, in closing, we got one more. I think we got, wait, did Mary Nielsen comment which one she wants? Studio set. Are you you wrote that down for me? All right. And then the there's one number up here, so I guess we didn't do this number. Did we do this number? No. Okay. 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 So we got the last set. It's a velvet um, set. I think it's a is it a three piece set or a two piece set? It's got the body lotion and the spray for the velvet. So, um, what was I going to say? Oh, oh, you might see our new love uh, makeups that are coming out. They have FMG on it. It's not a swear word. Um, so, w what they're doing is Avon is cha changing the name. Our makeup for over a decade has been called Avon True Color. And it's just an old, worn out name. So the new name is FMG. And FMG stands for Fashion, Makeup, and Glam. Yay! Yay! So it's just modernizing. It's not getting rid of Avon. It's just because. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of the, the younger generation thinks that Avon's old fashioned is for their grandma. And so when they say Avon true color, they're like, oh, it's Avon, right? But FMG, you know, what's, you know, now they're, they're looking at the products now with an open mind. So let your customers know that it's still an Avon product. We just changed the name. 
kind of like when I was a kid, they used to call them sugar smacks, and then they decided to be healthy and call them honey smacks. But we still know they're sugar smacks. You know, same product, different name. So it's just a matter of uh, modernizing. All right, so who's going to get our last bundle, our last gift set? Oh, the number is 11, by the way, 11. No, we did 11. We did 11. So where's my missing thing? We did 11, because I remember I was thinking of 7-Eleven. Hmm. And we did 8, right? Well, I'll just have to pick another number. Ugh. As long as it's between 1 and 30. Okay. I know, isn't that a cute box? I love this box. Okay, I have picked a number that is between 1 and 30, and the number is 25. And we have the closest two guesses are 18 and 28. It looks like 28 wins Veronica Mata. Oh, yay, Veronica! Yay! Veronica just got back from a very fun vacation, so I'm glad she got back safe and sound. And Helen got back safe and sound. You were in St. Louis, and you were in Chicago, and you were in Vegas. Mm -hmm. Hey, where'd you go, Amy? <laughs> she was in her bed. <laughs> I, was, I was just over here dying in the heat. So, uh, Did Veronica win again? The uh, Velvet Perfume Collection, or she could choose, th um, no, the bags are gone. Yeah, the Velvet Perfume Collection. So... Um, so I always like this one. Diamonds aren't found as precious stones. They're created. None of us come to Avon a top seller or a top recruiter, but with a little bit of education, aka polishing, we can all rise to be a better seller. So I challenge you to grow your customer base so that when the fourth quarter comes, um, you'll make money. And remember, our Christmas products are drop dead gorgeous. They sell out yesterday. So don't, if you're, it, I know they come out in October. I know, but you know, if your customers want the decorations, they need to buy them in October because by November 1st, they're gone and there won't be no more. So it's not like we're trying to skip Halloween or Thanksgiving. That's just a beast of the market. You know, you can go to Target or Kohl's and all the Christmas stuff is going to be out in December. Hobby Lobby has Christmas stuff right now. Okay. So, I mean, it's just, we're not trying to skip over or erase holidays. It's just, we have to get the sales in there to have the products. And um, I know last year we had a lot of disappointed customers. I mean, with the COVID affecting inventory and shipments. Um, so hopefully this will be a better year. And uh, we can all make either Premier or President's Club. But President's Club is the goal. If you don't make it by 21, you still, by campaign 21, you still have until December 31st. So we, we'll just keep it going. So remember, check your dashboard, and we can make it happen. Okay, so we can sign off now. We'll talk to you later. Yell bye. <laughs>